Another term used for Satan, as we mentioned, is Lucifer. Satan is a morally wicked creature, hostile to both humans and to God. Hi, thanks for tuning in to our daily inspiration. As always, thank you so much everybody for taking the time to be here with us. Well then, this will be another short and quick video on our faith, and this time, I would like to share something from Father Vincent Lampert. And for one, Father Lampert here is explaining, despite all the noise about the devil being so powerful and creating chaos in people's lives, there's one thing that you should always remember, and it's this. Your guardian angel is more powerful than the devil himself. Here's why. People should always realize that our guardian angels are more powerful than the devil himself. Now, we believe that before the fall, the devil was the greatest of all the angelic creatures closest to the throne of God, Lucifer, meaning light bearer. But after his rebellion, he's cast down with one third of the angels. Mm -hmm. But an angel that fell from a higher <laughs> ranking is inferior to an angel from a lower ranking who truly was obedient to God. So we think of the nine choirs of angels, you know, the the seraphim, the cherubim, the thrones, the virtues, the dominations, the powers, the principalities, the archangels, the angels. So our guardian angels come from the ninth choir. But again, our guardian angel from the ninth choir, because it's a good angel, is more powerful than the devil himself. And to add a little further, as we know, angels are purely intellectual creatures that received infused knowledge from the moment that they were first created. St. Augustine distinguishes between what he calls morning and evening knowledge. Evening knowledge is that by which the angels know things in their proper nature, and this knowledge is considered imperfect. The evening knowledge is the knowledge of things in the natural order, the ability to speak other languages, and many more. To put it simply, morning knowledge is that by which the angels know things according to their glory, and this knowledge is considered to be perfect. The evening knowledge, on the other hand, was present to the angels at the onset of their creation. But the angels only received morning knowledge when they chose to glorify God. They took their intellect and they chose to then honor and glorify God. And in doing so, they completed their creation. And so the angels that chose to rebel against God, Lucifer and his angels, are imperfect creatures. That's why our guardian angels are more powerful than the devil himself. The devil is an imperfect creature because he has evening knowledge but never received morning knowledge. Therefore, even though he comes from the group of the seraphim angels, an angel in the lowest rank that chose to glorify God now outranks an angel in an upper rank that chose to rebel against God. So after the fall, Lucifer became the chief of all the evil spirits, now referred to as the devil or Satan. The word devil comes from the Greek word diabolos, which means adversary, slanderer, or opposer. It occurs 33 times in the New Testament. The word Satan comes from the Hebrew and means accuser. It occurs 34 times in the New Testament. Another term used for Satan, as we mentioned, is Lucifer. Satan is a morally wicked creature, hostile to both humans and to God. He is not wicked by nature, but because of vice. He's also known as the enemy the adversary. Depending on the form his malice takes, he is described as a liar and the father of lies, and a murderer from the beginning, since his lying led humanity into sin and death. Well then, that will be all for the video this time. I hope you've learned a lot from this rather short video. I'll try to make it as compact as I can so that it will be easier for all of you to digest and learn from. Anyway, until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and may God bless you.